on Poshmark for two seventy five. Bought it at the Goodwill for four dollars. But sometimes they can go for crazy money. This is a Jelly Cat Mumble Fox Plush Loving nine inches. She said, I got this in a bag of other plush at Red Racks for around $6. Sold for 80 plus shipping in a few minutes. Easy to list, easy to ship, and easy to find. Now, the big money ones are, all, are not always easy to find, but the other two apply. And look, you can't even really see its eyes. It's kind of got some wear, guys. And it's still sold for 80 bucks in a few minutes. Jelly Cat is a great band brand. Type in Jelly Cat Bolo Buddies and you will see some that go for crazy money. Just put that in the YouTube search. Paid $3.50 at Red Racks. I guess that maybe is a thrift store. Sold for 50 in a little over a week. Again, another fast sale. Blizzard Entertainment World of Warcraft Traveler Peep Plush with Bag and Goggles. 50 bucks on this one, guys. It does have some wear. The next one is another jelly cat. Oh, it's so cute. It's an oak leaf. Are you kidding me right now? Paid 11 at the Goodwill and sold for 55 plus shipping in less than 24 hours. So they knew it was a bolo and they were willing to pay up. It is a plush Rottweiler dog, stuffed animal, large. Anytime you can find the large stuffed animals, a lot of times they're a bolo. Um, a good thing to put in your title is realistic. She said, bought at the Goodwill for $2.99. They had a family of three. I only purchased the largest. Had low offer of 10 and comment from buyer on Facebook Marketplace. It's only a stuffed animal. I rejected offer and didn't reply. Sold for 50 on eBay. And this is this and then, or I'm sorry, that and this us is eBay store. So yeah, definitely, definitely be on the lookout for the big dog plush. And there it is. Uh, rare DJ cupcake puppet plush, 13.5. Bought for a dollar at St. Vincent's, took an offer of 40, 40 <laughs> took an offer of 40 after being listed for six days. Yeah, I'm just leaving the bloopers in, guys. Just leaving them in. And I have never seen that before. And it even has a little stain. That's the thing with plush. Somebody asked, can you still sell it if it has an issue? The answer is yes, you can. This is not a plush either, but hey, you know, it's kind of a fabric. So I'm going to go ahead and include it. Store name, Nooks, Crannies, and Irresistible. She said, hi, I bought this at an estate sale for a dollar. Having lived in Hawaii for many years as a child, I recognized it right away as Tonga Tapa Cloth, handmade from the inner tree bark. I carefully removed it from its plastic and glass frame. And let's see, glass frame for easier shipping. Happily, I noticed the back of the cloth was stamped museum quality. I started the listing high and sold in about a month for 89 plus shipping. I would have held out for a higher price, but I did not want to store it and risk it deteriorating or getting any type of damage in my home. Google helped me on how to ship it, carefully, loosely rolling it with white acid-free tissue paper on both sides, then insert it into a plastic bag in case the package should get wet in transit, then packed in a thick box with a lot of padding. I also printed the Google information about Tapa cloth and how to store and ship it and included it in the box. Tracking shows it safely arrived to the new owner. Thanks, Courtney, for doing the Bolo videos. I learned a lot from them. They are definitely helpful to the reseller. Wow, thank you for that awesome information. That's a great little tutorial, guys. Never seen one of those. Vintage Anna Lee, Mr. and Mrs. Claus. This one is not a big money Bolo. However, some Anna Lee can be big money. So look them up if you see them. They are really known for their painted faces. And once you know what one looks like, you just know when you see them. They are so easy to identify. Got several vintage Annalie Christmas figures at the Goodwill bins and paid about 2 per set. I have three other sets for sale. Just goes to show you can sell Christmas all year round. So not a huge money, but you guys, it sold in May. It sold in May and it's Christmas. If you guys are not on Mercari, there is a link down below where you can get $10 to shop if you use that to join and another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff, and there are no selling fees on Mercari anymore. Now, this one is not big money either, but I'm gonna tell you, I feel like I see these things all the time and I leave them behind. And I had them as a kid too, but mine had those crazy hair. Do you guys remember? It's like really soft and fuzzy. She said, I have a couple plush bolos. This is Basket Case Mama Fab Finds. Um, she said, on all the places. I'll be back on whatnot, just juggling two businesses has been a crazy lately. She said, my side hustle became the main hustle, and that is really not the biz model I started. 
Uh, yeah, I understand things change, right? Um, anyway, here are a couple plush goodies. First, this isn't huge money, but I've sold two in quick succession. And since they cost me 50 cents at my local thrift store and the green one that was a bit creepier sold for 23 and the red and black for 1697, that is a nice return on ROI. And they sold within about a week of each other. I actually just picked up two more. So if you're looking for fast ease and easy and you can find them cheap, pick them up. They are small bean bag or floppy sawdust stuffed vintage porcelain face soft body clowns. The green one had fur like hair. The other a jester hat, both hand painted faces and only about six inches big. Who knew? But when things sell fast and the same type of thing, I thought it was worth a mention. Yes, you can sell plush on Poshmark. Wow. Vintage Mattel 1986, my child pet, pink kitty cat doll plush. Oh, it's so cute. I sold this uh, cat on Poshmark for $2.75, bought it at the Goodwill for $4. eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari, two little cherries. Happy thrifting and keep up the great info and videos, Courtney. Oh, thanks so much. She said, the bolo is an Avon Kirby bear from 1983, paid four for him at the Goodwill, but could tell he was vintage and older and research showed he was pretty hard to find and sold for decent money in the last few years on Terrapeak. So I priced him accordingly. I know Rebel the reseller is on the no bear kick and I get it. I too avoid bears. They are slow moving and he was a well, he was as well, but I bought him before I knew better and I think I may still have grabbed him because of his age. At any rate, I'm glad I did because he sold for full asking price of $49.99 plus shipping and I not only got wonderful feedback from the buyer, but a picture of Kirby with other Kirbys they collected. He fit right in. So how cute is that? Look at that. He is cute. So apparently the rebel reseller is saying she is not buying bears right now. You know, I think some of the more common bears are harder to find, uh, harder to sell quickly, but I do sell bears. Um, a lot of plush is harder to sell, but if you guys want to learn about plush, go follow the rebel reseller and not because every single one she sells for big money, but many of them are bread and butter, but you're just going to see her constantly flipping plush for a profit. And that is the rebel reseller. This one says, hi, Courtney and Bolo finder friends. I picked this very little bunny up at a rummage sale for 50 cents. He sold in two days after listing for $34.95. Cheap, easy to find, easy to ship, easy to list. That is what is great about plush. Uh, some people ask, how do you ship it? I usually put it in a padded poly mailer. If they have eyes that can get scratched, I'll sometimes put extra bubble wrap over the eyes. If it's um, a more expensive plush, I usually box it. He sold in two days. Uh, total surprise to me. My name is The Butcher's Wife on Poshmark. Uh, the Butcher's Wife, 22 inch. No, The Butcher's Wife, 22. <laughs> it was in parentheses. <laughs> Happy hunting. We'll leave that blooper in also. All right, here we go. Vintage 1987 Thai classic cat, orange cat plush stuffed animal. Bought this for $4 at a local thrift store and sold for $100 plus shipping. Now, she messaged me over on Instagram and said, I have, I think it was Instagram, Instagram or Facebook. She's like, I sold this plush because I saw it in your Facebook group. She bought it because she saw it in the Facebook group and sold it. I think the other one sold for $75 that she sold and she priced it up and sold it for $100. So this is one of the larger ones and it's from 19, uh, 1987, it looks like and it's a tabby cat. So don't be afraid to pick up Ty, uh, T-Y. I don't know if it's Ty or T-Y, but some of them do sell. The Beanie Babies are not what they're cracked up to be. However, there are some, if you really know your stuff that you can make some money on, but I don't know enough about it. So I stay away from those. But these bigger ones, I've done well with the bigger ones. All right, you guys, go share your best plush bolo. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check out some of those eBay stores and YouTube channels that I mentioned in this video. And also down below, I've got like List Perfectly tutorial and you can get 30% off your first month of List Perfectly with coupon referral, referral code Bolo Buddies. And that is a cross-posting service. And a lot of plush sell for more or faster on some of those other platforms because a lot of times on eBay, they are saturated and there are people that only buy on Mercari and people that only buy on Poshmark. I have a video, it's a Build-A-Bear video and it's eBay versus Mercari and it's the same Build-A-Bear, what it sold for on each platform. And a lot of times 
they sold for more on Mercari. So check that video out. Uh, just type in Bolo Buddies uh, Build-A-Bear. And I think it says like Mercari versus eBay or something like that in the thumbnail. And thank you to Seem So Vintage for my amazing necklace. I bought this on her Whatnot. So give her a follow on Whatnot. And I got my ring on Whatnot also from Three Thrifty Gals. I love shopping on Whatnot, but I love selling on Whatnot even more. So you guys come follow me, Bolo Buddies over there. Referral link down below to get $15 to shop. Other referrals and affiliates and all of that good stuff down below. I hope you guys will check them out. Those are things that I actually use for my business. So um, I do get a commission or I get money to shop. And a lot of times there's a perk for you also. So check them out. It usually tells you like list per perfectly is 30% off. Uh, Mercari, you get 10 and then 20 and to shop. So it's just different for each one, but all that information is down below. You guys, those help me keep this channel going. I appreciate it when you check those out and use them. So thank you so much in advance. It costs you nothing um, and it does help me. So thank you again for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.